Premiere is like your best friend, you basically do everything together. It seems like your relationship can't be destroyed whatsoever. But you know what they say, what goes up must come down. Premiere sometimes randomly hates us and we just can't figure out why. Good thing I have 5 examples of Premiere making it hard on us and of course how to fix it. Number 1. A masking bug that makes masking impossible. Ever since the 24.2 update masking just got so much harder. Back in the older versions you could easily create a curved mask by clicking in the program monitor and dragging. Now if you update Premiere you you can't. You can only draw in straight lines. No curves. Oh, unless you click the last point and then one of the two levers will show up. It's kind of a gamble which one. You also can't move around individual points anymore for some reason. Now when your mask is closed, you can try and adjust the mask, but then the levers will appear randomly again and you just can't control it. Masking just became impossible. Let's just hope they will fix this in 24.3. Anyway, for now until they fix this, you gotta roll back to a previous update or you can just use after Effects, which is a bazillion times easier. To do that, right click your clips in Premiere and choose Replace with After Effects Composition. This will open up your clips in After Effects and allow you to create much much better masks. All you need to do is go to the toolbar on top and click the pen tool. Then simply draw a mask on your video like it's nothing. Let me invert the mask real quick and of course, don't forget to save before going back to Premiere. There you go, this is a perfect workaround until they fix the bug. Number 2. Sound when scrubbing. You got two Two kind of editors. One likes to scrub sound and the other doesn't. I hate it, but by default this is enabled. Let me show you how to get rid of it. Go to the edit menu on top and find preferences. Then click on audio. Now in this panel, unselect play audio while scrubbing. Now your timeline will be silent unless you press the play button. Number 3. Premiere has a very slow playback sometimes. That's because some codecs are very hard to read. Now luckily they have a built in feature called proxies. I already mentioned this in another video but I still see so many comments of people asking what they actually do. Let me explain. This video file is written in a codec that's hard to read for Premiere which makes editing unpleasant. A proxy will replace that file with a lower quality easier to read codec. That will make editing so much smoother. Now at the end when you're exporting Premiere will use the original file so that you don't lose any quality. Now to create proxies right click the file in the project window then go to proxies and create proxies. In this window set it to quick Time. You can also lower the resolution if needed. Then click on OK and let Media Encoder do its thing. There you go. Smooth playback for everyone. Number 4. Making animations in Premiere. This can be painful because one wrong action can cause Premiere to cr- if you don't have time to create your own text animations, these templates are gonna save your life. You can just download them and they will be installed in the Essential Graphics panel. Just drag the preset into the timeline and all you need to do is adjust the text. And boom! Wonderful animations in just a few seconds. This plugin is from Startblocks and they're actually sponsoring this video. Thank you. Now, besides these templates, you can also download over a million HD and 4K resolution assets. From images to music and sound effects and so much more for just one predictable subscription cost. You never have to pay an expensive price per clip ever again. If you want to level up your videos and work so much faster at the same time, I highly encourage you again to choose from thousands pre-made professional templates for Premiere, After Effects, Apple Motion and DaVinci Resolve. These will help you create professional looking videos so much faster. Everything you download with Storyblocks is 100% royalty free, so no need to worry about copyright or anything. Now, Storyblocks has a little present for you guys, literally only for the Premiere Basics audience. You will get three additional months for free if you sign up with the annual individual license plan. Just go to storyblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics to take advantage of this exclusive offer. It's only available till the end of May 2024. So you gotta be fast. Click the link down below to check out Storyblocks. And now number 5. This one is actually good news. We all know this feature called Selection Follows Playhead. This feature will automatically select the clips when you're moving through the timeline. Yeah, I hate this and I know a lot of you guys hate it too. Good thing you can easily disable it by going to the sequence menu on top and disabling it like that. As you can see, I've set a shortcut to disable this faster. That is because in previous versions, Premiere had a bug that would automatically enable this every time you opened up Metric. But luckily, that's fixed now. 
you're only gonna give up masking. Actually, I still have two more bonus tricks for you guys. Number six, you know the program monitor, you can't really zoom in with your mouse and keyboard. You gotta use this annoying drop down menu. Please let us use the scroll wheel Adobe, it would be so useful. However, there's actually a fix for this. First, go to the edit menu on top and go to keyboard shortcuts. Then in this window, you can bind shortcuts to your keyboard. In the search bar, type in zoom, then scroll down until you find the program monitor and here you can see the zoom in and zoom out. Click on the empty space and bind a key to the zoom in. I use the key one for that. For zooming out, I'm using two. Now to set the program monitor to fit the screen, I use number three. This makes zooming in and out so much easier. Number seven, when you're creating a scale animation from zero to 100 using the transform effect, there's no problem. But once you enable motion blur, you'll get this issue where the first frame is glitching out. This bug has been in Premiere for years. Until they resolve this issue, you can use my fix. Set the first keyframe of the scale animation to 0 0.0 instead of 0. That will again introduce another issue. Now the anchor point is completely messed up. To fix that, select your effect and press Ctrl X to cut it. Then in the timeline, right click the logo and choose nest. Then with that nest selected, go back to the effect controls and paste the transform effect. That will make the animation look perfect. This is madness of course and we shouldn't have to go through this. But you know, it's not that bad. Premiere also has a lot of good features. I'm sorry, what was that? Seriously, to learn 20 amazing tricks in Premiere Pro, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay creative.